Mm -hmm. So now if you're searching for the biggest Batman fan in the world, you're close, yeah, close. but you don't have to look too much farther. Yeah, I found out that I'm nowhere near this guy <laughs> I'm going to tell you about now. You know, you don't need to send the bat signal up for this one. The guy that I talked to lives right here in central Indiana on the northeast side of town. But this Batman fan actually closed his bat cave a few years ago, and it was all for a good cause. If you see the Batman in theaters this weekend, you'll notice the Dark Knight rarely leaves Gotham City. But over the years, WTHR has spotted several Batmen. We're just going to go into the cafeteria. Here in Indiana. Climb on in there. Caped Hoosiers visiting schools. <laughs> hospitals. Batman has everyone's back. Or even training for marathons in Kokomo. I'd rather be out on streets making people's day much better than to just run as a regular runner. But if you head to the northeast side of Indianapolis, you'll find Kevin Silva, who hung up his Batman costume years ago. That's my felt hat from when I was five. I've got my lunchbox from kindergarten. And at one time, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, Kevin had the biggest Batman collection you'll find anywhere in the world. So what do you consider the holy grail of your collection? Well, that would be my 1966 ideal Batman. If you find like the handcuffs alone, those go for about 490 bucks on eBay. This looks amazing right here. How much bigger was your old collection than this? Well, I had two display cases in this room. I had a dozen display cases downstairs. It was in my basement about 1,200 square feet, and it got to the point where you couldn't even walk down there. There was so much stuff, and that was kind of a determining factor on selling it. That's right. Five years ago, Kevin sold almost all of his Batman collectibles to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. They made me an offer. I said, you know, I'll take this much money and bring one check, and they did. A friend of mine made a comment to me that 50 years from now, all the stuff you've gathered up all these years will still be together at the museum. It gets to get shared way more than I could share it here, and that was the deciding factor. Were you sad? Yeah, when they, it took six people three days to pack it up, and those three days were rough, because all the stuff that I had is getting carried <laughs> away, and you know, don't, don't, don't drop that, don't drop, you know, it was a lot of that. But that didn't stop Kevin from continuing to collect all things Cape Crusader. This came from the Singapore Post Office, a high school friend of mine mailed that to me. So you have a whole team of people all over the country my, looking my at generals. stuff. They just, Your people, they just see something and go, man, I'm gonna have to get Kevin that. And now Kevin's got his own boy wonder. My son, Dylan, he's been collecting stuff parallel with me. He's a really good artist and his Batman renderings are, are fantastic. Superheroes. Who doesn't like superheroes? And I just like to draw superheroes. Several pieces that he did went to the Children's Museum, but it's kind of cool to add to my collection something as personal as that because he's got a passion for it. What was it like growing up with a dad who had a collection that any child would be amazed by? It was always Christmas around here. He had so many toys, but he never opened them. So <laughs> you, you, you couldn't play with them. All you could do was just look at them. We don't open things, and I try to explain to him it's going to be worth more if it's in the original packaging. Cool. <laughs> Why do you think people in Indiana love Batman so much? He's the only superhero that if you had a billion dollars and a little bit of military training, you could be Batman. So just how many Batman collectibles did the Children's Museum take out of Bat Kevin's Batcave? Try 3,252 wow. pieces of Batman history went from Kevin's house over to the Children's Museum. And by the way, thanks to Scott Swan, for telling me about Kevin so I could go do the interview. So thank you so much, Scott. Scott. I was saying his house must be enormous, be, or maybe it just looks like it in those pictures. Just every square inch much stuff. Is, is bat Gosh, something or Beatles something. He's also a big Beatles fan. You kind of wonder why Indiana, because as you all probably know, uh, up in Mishawaka is the Museum of Superheroes. We oh, did yeah. a special on that during Chuck's Big Adventure a couple of years ago. That has now moved to a new facility mm -hmm. closer to the interstate. Very nice, but I mean, uh, Indiana loves it. One piece of uh, trivia for uh -huh. you. In the original 1989 Batman movie, the Gotham State flag is the Indiana State flag. What? There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go.